instructions for preparing the Shmartaf protective kit for use in an emergency. The Shmartaf kit is a protective kit for babies up to the age of three, and it is important to assemble it now so that it is ready for use when needed. First, open the box and take out all the parts. The kit contains a yellow or green blower, the Shmartaf body, a drinking bottle, a sealed filter, and an instruction book. Take the filter. Pull off the white cover and unscrew the black cap counterclockwise. Please note, the cover and cap have to be removed for the filter to work. If the kit has a yellow blower, pick it up now and pull off the disposable tape safety cover. Removing the safety cover is essential for the blower to work. Press the red button to operate the blower. When the blower is working, you will hear a faint hum and feel the air being emitted. After testing, turn off the blower. Now, push the filter into the blower. Make sure that the screw aperture on the filter is facing outwards. Push until you hear a click. Now the filter is in position. Take the air intake hose that is connected to the body of the Schmartoff kit and screw it into the aperture of the filter. Now the Schmartoff kit is ready for use. If the kit contains a green blower, the order of the actions is slightly different. Pick up the blower and remove the safety cap covering the on-off switch. The cap has to be removed for the blower to work. The safety cap is a black plastic cap on the rear side of the blower. Keep the safety cap for reuse for long-term storage. Press the red button and activate the blower. When the blower is working, you will feel the air being emitted and hear a faint hum and the control light will be on. After testing, turn off the blower. The on-off switch is on the rear of the blower. Now screw the filter into the screw socket on the front of the blower. Make sure it is screwed firmly into the blower. Take the air intake hose connected to the Schmartoff kit and screw it into the protruding aperture on the blower. Make sure it is screwed in firmly. Now the Schmartoff kit is ready for use. Put your baby into the Schmartoff kit only when expressly instructed to do so via the media. Turn on the blower before putting the baby into the Schmartoff kit. First, turn on the blower by pressing the red button on the side. Make sure that the blower is working. Lift the clear cover upwards. Sit or lay the baby down so that the red waist strap is in the area of his waist. Put the baby's arms through the yellow shoulder straps and into the sleeves. Tighten the cord at the end of the sleeves, pressing the button and pulling the bead towards his hands. Be careful not to pull it too tight. Make sure again that the blower is working. Pull the transparent cover down over the child's face and close the two zippers. Hold the loop in one hand and close the zipper with the other hand. Do up the two waist buckles and tighten the waist straps by pulling them to the sides. Now your baby is protected. The baby can drink while he is protected inside the Schmartoff kit. Remove the white cap on the Schmartoff kit, remove the cover of the attached bottle, and screw the bottle into the opening in the Schmartoff kit. After the baby finishes drinking, remove the bottle immediately. Close the aperture in the Schmartoff kit by screwing the white cap back on and close the bottle. When the blower is suspended from the rigid back of the Schmartoff kit, the toddler can walk by himself. He can also be carried or sat down. The baby can also be laid down with the blower lying alongside him out of his reach. At all times, care must be taken not to obstruct the air intake of the blower. Detailed instructions can be found in the instruction book. Following the instructions carefully saves lives. It is absolutely forbidden to use the atropine syringe that is in the kit. Use of the syringe could endanger your life. Following the instructions carefully saves lives.